Hello everyone. Today, I my name is Grace. I am Grace. Huh? Um, Joy. <laughs> Today we are going to read the Bible story. 19th chapter. Ruth followed Naomi. I am going home," said Naomi. Naomi moved to Moab with her husband and her two sons. A long time ago, there was be a big and big famine in her hometown, Bethlehem. In her in her hometown, Bethlehem, Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Nami was living with her daughters in La Lo Lo. I am going back to my people, said Naomi. We will show you something. <laughs> it's very cute. So let's go. Hmm? I am going with you. I will go wherever you go. Your home will be my home. Your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter-in-law. Ruth came to Bethlehem with Naomi. Yep. Ruth had to prepare for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered Grains, grains on the bar, my the barley, barley field, and ate with Naomi. Both on the land, she takes good care of her mother-in-law. Ruth must be a good woman. Called Boaz, Ruth gathered grains diligently. Boaz helped Ruth gather more grains. He helped with, he helped Ruth eat with other workers comfortably. Boaz was a kind, rich man. Naomi and said to Ruth, "In Israel, tradition, tradition, wisdom, what? Wisdom, where?" Yeah. No, widows. Widows are too many. Too merry. Oh, the closet. Oh, the <laughs> closet. Relay. Relay. Relative. Boas and uh, Boas is the closet related to his. He liked you when I don't you marry him, as Naomi said. Boaz and Ruth got married. <laughs> okay, so next one. God gave you. God gave Ruth a very special gift: a baby boy, Obed. Grandma Naomi and Ruth were really happy. God bless Ruth. But my grandma is so so young. Huh. Me. Okay, so next. Chapter twenty. God's man Samuel. You can read first, ma. Hannah was crying and praying in the town, but she didn't have any children. Her husband Elkanah was loving husband, but Elkanah's another wife, Pen Penia, was cruel to Hannah. Help me, God! Give me a child. If you let me have a baby boy, I will offer him to you. Okay, I will read this. Her priest of the temple, Ali, told Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have to quit drinking. Hannah said to Ali, "I'm not drunk. I'm praying because I'm so sad." The priest said to Hannah, "Go in peace. God will and God will answer your prayer." Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her a son. Hannah was, Hannah was gave her, Hannah was very happy. 
She named him Samuel. Samuel means God answered my prayer. Oops. So let's go next. You can read this. <laughs> when Samuel When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. I will give this child to God. If you help him to solve serve God, yes, I will help him, said Elia the Eli Eli the present Hanan Hannah Hannah take it for God for Samuel. Wait, wait, I am oh wait, wait, wait. When we're giving to God, we should Okay, so let's go next. <laughs> Samuel lived in a temple. He helped early and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy and he made people happy. Let's go. Anna and Elkanah. Elkanah. Elkanah came to the temple to worship God. Anna brought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Elia to bless Ellie. them. Ellie to bless them. Bless us as we motion. Where I wear. Okay. Bless, bless. Bless them. Bless you with more children. Ellie prayed for them. Him. God. Him. There. Okay. Then. <clears throat> God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. Huh, is very cute. Samuel saw God in a temple. He heard a voice of calling. Samuel. Samuel. God was calling Samuel. And God spoke to Samuel. After two laws had happened, Samuel gave messages to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet of God. A bear is going to eat the cloud. <laughs> David, a brave boy. Come out, said Goliath the giant. Come on out and fight with me. The Israelites were fighting with Philistines. Goliath was the strongest Philistine soldier. King Saul, an Israeli soldier, was scared. I will fight with Goliath, said David. David brought food to his brothers. They were the soldiers in King Saul's army. Oh. David was made was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's the God's army. So I will read this one. Nah. Okay. You are a young boy. Goliath is a giant soldier. 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 Okay, whatever. <laughs> Said King Saul. Said King Saul. I protect my sheep from the lions and bears. God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David. But it was too big and heavy to wear. David stood before Goliath, and uh, he had stones and a sling on his head. <laughs> Goliath was upset to see a young boy, David. Stones and a sling? Do you think I am a puppy? I came before you in the name of the Lord. You made fun of God's army, didn't you? I will let the word know that God's alive. God doesn't need a sword and spear. Spear, spear said David. 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 David put a stone in his sling. He left the stones fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead and he fell down to the ground. 
David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You are brave. Oh, you are very brave, David. King Saul. <laughs> Say King Saul. David was very brave. Everybody said David was brave, but David knew God helped him. Um, yeah, we have five minutes left. Twenty two chapter. Good friends, with King Saul. So David defeated the Philistine army. King Saul knew David loved God, and King Saul knew David was great. Jonathan was King Saul's son. Jonathan loved God too. Okay. Prince Jonathan <gasps> liked David. Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he will be his best friend. Best, best, best friend. Jonathan has many nice them. Jonathan gave David his best sword. Excuse me? <laughs> Jonathan also gave David his bow and arrows. Jonathan gave him his a nice jacket. This will help this will let people that you are my friend, said Jonathan. Thank you for oh, you want to read these all? Oh I will read half. No, I'll read all if you want. Ah. Thank you for giving me Thank you for giving me your precious things. Thank you for being my best friend, said David. David became an honorable general of Israel. He won many battles, and Israel was sent for David. <laughs> King Saul killed thousand, but David killed ten of thousand. They made King Saul mad and jealous. King Saul tried to harm David, but Jonathan helped David run away from King Saul. Yes, we will show okay. you this thing. <laughs> The wise King Solomon. Hooray, King Solomon. Oh. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so today we will going to show you what things do we have. Um, Grace. Okay. So this is a cat. And this is a cloud. Yeah. I have one more cloud over here. And um, that is mine. And this is great. No, actually, this is your brother's. Yeah, this is my brother's. Dolphin. And this is called Squishy. It's so squishy, like, it's very squishy. And this is a penguin. Penguin. My brother gave me. So, this is a physics spinner that my brother has. I like your cat. Yeah. It's so cute. Hello, hello. Ta da! I love that. Can I try it once? Uh, I can. Put one more. Put, not this, not this. Yeah, this one. Can I do it? Yeah. Um, I think it was stuck somewhere. So, uh, let's try this one with some small thing. Um, eraser? Paint? Okay. No. Ah, I have a good idea. Me 
Maybe this one. Only one. A paper clip. So let's see, this will come out from here. Can I do it? Yeah, you can. Ta-da! It's very nice. Um, so I think we need to stop here just right now. So bye-bye, yes. have a nice day. Bye! Um, excuse me.